What's up, YouTube? I am back with the Farming Simulator series. This is episode two, and it is a nice early 604. And if you notice, there is some hay bales missing, and a couple things changed around the farm. I went to record this video and started it sooner than this, but I was having some major game glitches, and the footage was basically useless. So some things are moved around on the farm, some things are put away, that tractor's not, for some good reason. Um, I ended up putting the mowers here because the fold-up mowers would not fit through the garage door, folded up or down. So then I moved this tractor here. Then the Ford in the, the two Fords in the John Deere and the barrel are in here. And this tractor is in here with its trailer is currently hooked to the Ford because I was having issues with the gooseneck trailer, which is why I wasn't able to get good footage. So I'm using the Ford just to tap this trailer to run Fort Bale for the day. Um, which I'm going to continue talking as we start driving. Which I did take what oats were in the silo and give them to the horses as well as finish giving the, um, filling up the hay on the horses, so, and we're going to start out today by getting the bales off the field, then we're going to come fertilize the field, and depending on what, what time it is, um, and check up on some things, maybe ride a horse depending on whether or not we have time. We will see on that part. So I am going to start the time lap and see you guys when it's over.
the um, driving pulling this trailer. Um, and it being so bad, this trailer is actually really hard to produce, and that is a grass bale in the middle of that, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but this trailer is out there really hard to pull with this truck via why I was using the gooseneck, but like I said, due to complications, I was not able to be, continue using the gooseneck for now with the mod itself. It kept wanting to pick the back tires of the truck off, up off the ground, and I'm not sure why. So I apologize about the little change with that and the bad driving. But we are now on our way back over to drop these last hay bales off with one grass bale, which really not sure what I'm going to do with it. I may save it because most likely we have enough bale, hay bales to last us for a little bit with the harvest or with the horses. And see what I mean? It just shoves the truck empty or not. So this track being made to be muddy and slick isn't helping anything either. So, but I also did have a few accidents which I edited out. Bad ones, mainly where I woke the trailer. So I am sorry about that. I'm also um, I'm going to work on that in the future, but I'm going to go pick up the slowest sled spreader and we are going to come back over here and um, spread slowly, uh, excuse me, on the um, hay field. And ooh, not again, not again, not again. Okay, but for the most part saved it. And like I said, this trailer just really pushes this truck. But I'm also not sure that the issues I was having with the 40-foot gooseneck were due to the 40-foot gooseneck being on the other truck or that particular mod. So, yeah. But that is why I didn't show you the first part because of the fact that it just was happening so often being such an issue that it made the footage um, virtually unusable. Be honest, not sure the um, wrecking and the hardness to control with this is going to make this any easier, but, or any better, I mean, but we'll see. So. And I did buy another trailer, which I had the pickup. Um, shown, or going and picking it up, shown, um, I'm going to park this in here, shown, but I used this to transport this um, tractor over here off camera. I actually did this off camera before starting the original recording of this, but I brought this over, reconfigured it to dual wheels, and made this our carting trailer over the other one so mainly because I'm trying to for now keep with the older tractors that you are more likely to see in the US at least where I live I might be wrong you might have saw that brand of tractor more somewhere else but so I just wanted to point that out since you didn't see me picking up the trailer or bringing this tractor over or dropping the other one off So I got to go in here, and not sure why I ran down this end of the building. Here's the things at the other end, and I need to bring it out here and fill it up out of our amazing silo that let us just buy any material. In this case, it's slowly. Hopefully, this is enough for the field. I have no idea. I may have to make multiple trips back over here. We will see. But this is not a super big thing. That looks kind of funky, but you get the idea. Yeah, this is only an 8,000 liter tank. Don't know if that's enough to do that whole field. So, but we will see. 
And this is the John Deere 4020. Try to look at it without wrecking. So, it's going to be a little bit of a show trip over there. I will probably time lapse part of it. And I did end up shutting the traffic off due to how many trips I was making back and forth and how hard that trailer was to drive. So, um, I will be turning it back on. So. I'm also looking into getting a new mic. So hopefully the mic quality is going to get better in the future. So. But... Yeah, I also eventually want to buy the cow farm in the future. We will see how that goes. Please let me know down in the comments whether you guys want to see me eventually expand into the cow and sheep farm, or the cow, or I mean, or the pig farm. I'll probably end up buying both before the series is over. But please let me know what you would like to see first. Also, if you have any suggestions from. Uh, mods or tractors you would like to see me use that would be good I can in a separate video go through and show you the modded tractors I do have or the mods I do have downloaded so you have an idea so and I am open to non American style tractors and even doing it a non American farm series on like a European map or a German map or also, if there's any maps you would like to see me use, let me know in the comments. So, and since we're talking about leaving comments, also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and time lapse the rest of this because this is taking forever. Because this tractor only goes 21 miles an hour. So, hope I don't have to make many trips back to the farm. I may end up putting in another one of them silos over at the other farm, well, farm area, because I am going to have to fertilize that farm field quite regularly. So, check fertilizer states I assume could we just cut this but for some reason it said we don't need to fertilize it yet I'm honestly not sure why so I'm going to go hop in the other truck and take it back over to the farm and check on the horses in the other farm and check the growth of the other two fields. I'm just going to leave this over here because I will be needing it over here. So we're going to get in the old six, or the new 6.7 I guess. Via that it is a 2020 so that would definitely be good. And I left the headlights on of the John Deere. Object here. And I'm back in the fort. And up, now it's putting in the jump. Mm -hmm. so, I can kind of stay out of the windshield, but I am going to drive next to here because the thing is, buddy, is in a trick bay. And I do think if we like put the drive through here, then later drive through the Pig farm. I do think that farm itself that comes with the cow farm is a little bit nicer than the farm that comes with the pig farm. 
it also does have um, sheep on one end and cows on the other end of this. You guys would rather send me to a big a pig farm later than a cow farm. That's fine. Eventually, I would like to do both. But I kind of got to just continue growing to that point. And the money will continue to go down. I do have the fuel use mod on, so I do use um, fuel a little faster than normally with it set to default. So that is nice, that makes it a little bit more realistic, having to have to refuel fuel tractors and you lose some money to fuel in that way, more than normal. And like I said, I do have the horse helper mod um, downloaded. So you won't see me riding the horses that often unless we have some extra time. We also, if we need to wait on things to grow, did I may have just messed up because I may not have had plant weathering turned off. Or no, it says growth state ready to harvest. So it is ready to har harvest. Then after we harvest this, we will be doing what's in these two fields for one. We, ooh, we are looking at field three and four, which is beans. Next, we will most likely doing, be doing oats, so we can get some, not only get some straw bales, but we can get some more oats, oats for the horses. So. I mean, we do have the ability to come over here to this thing and buy oats, but that would be expensive, so. I am going to check time and most likely get a start on the harvest. Whether I get done with it or not, I will definitely get a start on it. So, yeah. We're finally gonna break out the big John Deere. I'm just gonna go, go ahead and get it started up, so I can get warmed up. We have to have a lot we gotta start up because we have a lot we need to set up real quick before you get started. Uh, so let's start up that. Or let's start up the um, grain tractor. Or the wagon tractor. Well, the trailing tractor for grain. Let's start up the international. Get it warmed up. Get none of it even started in a while. Hey, bro, don't you just love the sound of vitamin D solutions? I know I do! Then what are we gonna go through the mandor on this? So. Alright, no we're not. Apparently that mandor is too small. <laughs> so. And also, I did end up off camera while I was doing the horses. I bought a different bale fork, which is also part of the money, but um, I was having issues carrying more than one bale at one time, and I do really like the fork. I don't know why I didn't just buy it to begin with. So, yeah. Get this fired up. Do that. We're going to drop that. We're going to come over here. We're going to drop the front loader all together. Unhook the real late, which should fall on the ground, but let's go ahead and go get it with this. Should be able to want to make it cheap a little bit, hook it up. That's it. Yeah. And 
I don't know if my bumper is sticking or what, or if I have the speed turned way up, but I seem to be moved, not being able to slide down my walking, so sorry about that. So, yeah. Right, that not that we need it, but we are going to be hurt to the altar, so why not? As well as we got to grab this little, or the header trailer and pull it out of here. We will probably start with the smaller of the three fields. And most likely getting it done today, then start the big field in the next video. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually start. driver, but I'm going to worry about him running into it. No, oh, there's a cut through. I knew there was. So, next we are going to get the uh, auger, big auger out so we can unload out of the tractor into the tray or into the truck and start going to run in. And this auger does function without the tractor running, but I feel like you should still leave the tractor like up to it and kind of on the barn. Oops. We're just trying to kind of come out here in the middle of the plenty of room. If I can remember the button, I'll unfold it. So it was the same button as it is to hold out the um, boom on a harvester. If you guys were wondering, that was my bad for not noticing. Now this auger did come with the map, but I will definitely probably continue to use it on other maps because it did show up as separate than the map. And it does have lights on. It does have work lights on it, which is really nice and cool. At least it down there does. But we don't need those on to the middle of the day. But yes, it's still running. Which it did set up with the pendle head, so if you really needed a bigger, ended up needing a bigger container, we can put a trailer behind it. I really don't think it's going to be necessary, but it might. ourselves under this or under this the best we can. That looks pretty similar to me. And that also does not need to be on right at the second. Oh, that looks like it's going to be better. Yeah, we have be better. Ah, it looks close. And I'm probably going to hike the harvester down at this end of the field. And I'm going to park this down at the far end so I can dump into it partly down. The plan is the harvester will just not fill itself up.
up on this right here. And we are going to... If you hear that beeping, I am sorry. Find the right object to tab through. Maybe. There we go. on the other side of the grass somewhere here. Because I planned on turning the other way out of the barn. And this being a newer tractor, or harvester, it does take dip. So that's going to be an expense when that does come up. Good old diff load. Something might trim back these bushes and make a path through there. And I just hit a tree. Whoops. I guess we can just call that the major oops so far. And I do have problems with uh, So I'm going to turn this on and start up.
guys, I'm back. So, it looks like we got this field pretty much done, and it appears that it's all going to fit in the one little trailer, but also, we probably need to talk to you next. So. It appears that we got a, at least a halfway decent yield as far as soybeans go. They're not really a big yielding crop, sadly, but they're worth a lot of money. Well, in comparison to other crops you can plant with no till. So. So it looks like that tractor. We're gonna leave that there and take this down and come back after it. Once I empty this out, that will be it for today's video. Well, empty the harvester. Um, at the beginning of the next episode, we are going to set the seeder on this, planting oats, and start the harvester out over there, harvesting that. But, and if you have any suggestions for other games you would like to see me play, please let me know in the comment section below, because I am going to start a um, second series, I'm just not sure what it's going to be yet. I'm also going to bring this up, and change what door the um, game is coming out of. Right now it's at the back, that's the left, that's right, and that's green door. We have that one not a super wide object, and set that to green door, and set that back up. And set that back up. And open that up, and that one's the wrong door, so that's not the next one. Also, we're going to go to the There's a view up here. I did not know that. I thought they were going to nice and kind of cool. So. And that's a little character that that goes to the bottom of the table. That's going to climb up. There's probably a ladder on the back. That would have been a little bit more realistic to climb up, but... So we're going to go ahead and leave that tractor running. Or we go get the rest of the rain. I'm going to drive this car to the end. In reality, I don't really need that water holding tank since the horses are hooked up to a pump in a well using the Anal pin extended mod, so I don't go to haul water. So I don't really need that unless I'm going to do something like potato washing that involves needing to transport water, which I may do. Not on a very big club, though, but potatoes take cover. Because I think the biggest is like three or four meters wide on harvester, and the thing isn't super wide either. Start that back up. Set the beacons off. 
Right, this down to the other end of the field because it will be starting out on the big field tomorrow. the other end of the field, not the other field. Honestly, by the time I tab back, pray through all the tractors and back to this one, I probably would have just flown, because I've never seen the tab the right direction. Only a little bit left in this thing. We have 1,300 and, oh, no, sorry, 13,774 liters of uh, uh, soybeans in here, which we will be selling tomorrow with the rest of it. Well, Tomorrow in the game, it will be Wednesday, the next video comes out, so that would be that field harvested. We're going to start out the next video harvesting this field and putting the seed on this. I will probably... I don't know whether I'll harvest and let the seeder seed this field, then seed this field myself, or I will seed this with the hired worker harvest this, but then that leaves me doing nothing but carting and leave running a seeder the whole time. And I kind of want to get some time in the harvester too, so we'll see how that goes. And we also would have we also have to run fertilizer across both fields. Probably not all in one video. But okay, until next time, have a great week or day or whenever you tune back in. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and if you haven't yet, subscribe for more content like this and also feel free to leave a comment see you next time